Hello! I'm Tom Varner and welcome to Adventures in TV Land! For today's adventure, I've come to the St. Louis Zoo. Now a couple of months ago, they opened a new exhibit connected to the primate house. It's like a canopy tour climbing around with the monkeys and different things like that. And so I've come to the zoo today finally to check it out. And there it is, the primate canopy trail. See a bunch of kids climbing around right there now. Curious to check this thing out, see what it's all about. Looks like there's some uh, rope bridges and some other climbing elements and things there for kids and others to climb on. This uh, tree looking billboard here illustrates the different primates you will see here on the primary primate canopy trail and I'll just give a kind of a 360 look here around right now at everything lots of climbing tunnels for the little monkeys and lemurs and they're all really quite impressive it's really up and close and personal There's a couple of lemurs just hanging around, chilling under the shade on this hot day. This is a really cool setting and playground for the lemurs and monkeys that are here. This one keeps smiling at me. Look at those chompers. Look at those pearly whites. It's a hot day, so most of the monkeys are chilling inside and under the shade. Oh man. Why'd you wake me up? Just leave me alone. I want to go back to sleep. Most primates browse for a variety of activities. Branches from this browse garden are fed to some of our primates that are specialized leaf eaters, like Sipicas, Lang Langers, and Columb Columbus monkeys. These leaves and branches also help boost natural behavior such as nest building and play. And this display talks about sustainable and unsustainable palm oil and what we can do to help.
Looks like this fella is just taking his sweet time. He's going from one to going from one end of the compound to what appears to be the other end of the compound. I'm not for sure what this guy's so excited about, but Something about those water hoses inside that cage there can really get him going. Now I know that is not a spider monkey, but seeing that little monkey jump around it makes me want to sing the song. Spider monkey, spider monkey, does whatever a spider monkey does. Spider monkey, spider monkey, does whatever a spider monkey does. Watch out, there goes spider monkey. It's hard to tell, I realize, but this little guy, he's looking right at me. He's staring me down in the face. This guy just made one giant circle. That's all he did. He walked around in one giant circle. Now it's time for me to attempt to climb around on some of the climbing structures here. All right, we're climbing some stairs here, climbing some stairs. Little deck here. Not quite to the top area yet. More stairs, lots of kids, lots of families. Got a nice view of the, the walkway down there. There's a tunnel there. Can look over, look at the people, they're looking at the monkeys there. Reminds me kind of a giant tree house. Ah, this way is blocked. I'm gonna try this rope tunnel. Here we go. Oh. No. Uh, this is gonna be harder than I thought it was. Uh, it's not really meant to, for big person to crawl through. Should have kind of tried walking through this maybe or squatted walk. It's a lot, lot difficult. A lot difficult. Almost there though. Almost there. And and I'm out. Whew. Made it to the end. Just a little while ago, I was up there climbing through those tunnels myself. Well, that was the Primate Canopy Trail, a new feature here at the St. Louis Zoo in St. Louis, Missouri. It uh, gives you a really in-depth look at some of the smaller monkeys and lemurs and whatnot, as well giving uh, younger people something cool to really climb around and explore upon. Well, this has been another adventure in TV land. Thank you for watching. If you've liked this video, 
hit the like button. If you disliked, hit the dislike button. Subscribe to my channel for further content and ring that bell for email notifications. And if you've liked this video or any of the other adventures in TV land, you can help support the channel by going to buy me a coffee and making a donation or becoming a member there. And if there's some place that you would like to see me visit or you have a suggestion about a future video, leave a comment in the comment section. Until next time, that's a wrap.